You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. All right, number two, what do you all got? right? Mm -hmm. uh, issue that, that leads to customers providing, you know, giving you, you know, objections is okay. not staying in the lane in the lane not staying in the lane what do i mean by that i have no idea okay um not uh, not um um you know you mrs jones calls you out because you hear something going on with the toilet okay okay mm -hmm. uh but you walk in there because you've been sold all the sales jive about going in there and pushing water softeners and and you know prv valves and and you know tankless water heaters and, and those kinds of things big ticket items mm -hmm. okay uh -huh. all right um staying in the lane means staying within the reason why mrs jones called you out okay okay mm -hmm. so she's called you out because she hears uh, my toilet's making a funny sound okay what you want to stay sound? in the lane with your options okay okay mm -hmm. so you first want to tell mrs jones the reason for why she called you out correct okay mm -hmm. now now some sales gurus and i'm not a proponent of this mm -hmm. um, will say well even when you do this start with the most expensive option mm -hmm. no well i'm all about dealing trust mm -hmm. and um what the basic plumber can do easily okay, okay. it's easy for a basic plumber to mm -hmm. be able to tell mrs jones well your flapper here is leaking Okay, and that's okay. what's causing that tinkly sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the same time that he's doing that, you're gaining Mrs. Jones's trust because you're going right to the reason why she called you out. Okay, right. it's all about trust here. Mm -hmm. All right, sure enough. Objections occur because you haven't gained the trust. Okay, Correct. so we got the flapper. Yep, and then we want to stay in the lane. Mm -hmm. Okay, even when we've done testing, house tests and inspection, that kind of stuff, when they do have high water pressure, now to go and say, well, really what's going on here is you have a high water pressure, which causes the flapper to leak. That's what's causing the tinkly sound. And I'll throw that in, but you need to get this done. Your average guy, most of you guys will lose a customer every single time. The customer doesn't trust that. Right. Because that's selling. Because mm -hmm. that's exactly what, that's what's happening. When we step outside the lane, the customer thinks, you're just trying to sell me. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to sell me because that's exactly what's happening okay that's what it feels like to the customer right. so we want to stay in the lane a flapper like a minor toilet rebuild all right mm -hmm. and then a new toilet okay? okay and it makes sense to mrs jones why you're offering a new toilet because we're dealing with the toilet right okay she may think well i know you want me to buy a new toilet that'd be nice but i'm not going to do that today mm -hmm. <laughs> but she doesn't feel like you're you're trying to get one over on her mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's within the lane. Right. And there's also something very easy for a regular plumber to do. Right. 